Hey there, Aquarius. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. I'm just going to do a free-for-all reading. So I'm going to let the cards come out how they want to come out and tell the story how they feel like, okay? I'm going to start with the Work Your Light Oracles, just for some overall energies. And then we're going to pull from the Light Seers Tarot after that. I hope you all are doing well. If you are cross-watching, you might have to vice versa the role for it to fit your situation. Please, by all means, feel free to do so. If this does not fit your situation at all, just try a different message. Let's see what we've got coming through. For Aquarius, please and thank you so much, universe. What do we have for Aquarius? Please and thank you. That other one wanted to come out, but it didn't. You're already doing it. <laughs> Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. You're already doing it. Sorry, I feel like somebody's telling me it was cut off. You're already doing it. What else do we have for Aquarius? Please and thank you so much. Yes. Just say yes. In the book, it's like three or four pages of the word yes in capital, bold, and with an exclamation point after every single one. We have the high priest, high priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? You're already doing it, but I feel like You are expecting more by this point. You are going to get that more. It's going to be more relevant. More people are going to see it. There's going to be more acknowledgement, more changes in your environment. It is, it is going to grow. It is going to be more. Some of you guys are also second guessing if you're doing the right thing, if you're on the right path. You are. You are. You are. Either way, stop second guessing yourself. Trust your, your intuition right now because you are channeling exactly what and where and how and who you need. Uh, you need to be channeling, right? You're right on the money here. I just heard somebody so Aquarius of you. I know. <laughs> All right. Let's see. The Hermit. Yeah. Going within to seek the answers. Some of you guys are, are really actually hermiting yourself. You're not really out and about, being vocal, being social. You're keeping things close to the chest. Or you're just not available right now because you're doing a lot of soul searching. Or just connecting a lot. You like your alone time. You do. You really value your alone time because you're more connected to spirit. And you have beautiful spirits around you, which means you have a beautiful spirit. <laughs> Those spirits are drawn to you for a reason. You inspire them. I don't think you realize just how beautiful you are. I don't know who's failing to tell you this, Aquarius, but you are doing such a great job. You are doing such a great job. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> And I can't believe more people aren't saying this. They will. <clears throat> Excuse me. They will. Woo. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> For Aquarius, please and thank you, Spirit. So far, we just have Virgo out here. Oh, and Pisces. Ace of Wands. There is a spark. There is an ignition. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. <laughs> oh, ten of swords. Yeah.
I feel like crying because some of you have worked for so long and so hard and it's finally, finally. For others of you, you're walking away from something that you thought you needed, realizing that you never needed that at all. And I think it's the recognition from others, which is interesting because as soon as you walk, to walk away from the idea that you need recognition, that's when it comes in. And it comes in so fucking hard for you, Aquarius, that it's like, it feels better than it would have because you have a deeper understanding of what recognition actually means. You had to have this new perspective so that you could be so much more deeply impacted, positively impacted. Now that you understand more about it, it just, it means so much more to you now. It's like to have the highest understanding of something. Does that make sense? That I feel like that's what this is. To have the highest understanding. Again, though, this is also your higher self, your future self, your, um, your soul. Complete connection. Completely open. And you're already on your soul path. You're already doing what you're supposed to be doing. Some of you are tarot readers. The highest fucking perspective. What else came out with it? The Four of Cups. Yeah, because before it was not going to be what it's meant to be. But now that you have a different outlook, now that you see it from a higher perspective, it means a lot more to you. There you are, Aquarius, King of Swords. When you're ready to come out of this hermit mode, you will. Until then, you're good. Stay in the hermit mode, you know? Because the the thing inside of you that's being lit up, this passion, it's going to change everything. And you're already doing it. Knight of Swords, Hierophant, and the Three of Wands. You bet. You bet. You're already on your path, you guys. And this is going to start moving a lot faster. And although you don't really see ships here, they are definitely coming. You're going to feel it before you see it. But that's literally the definition of manifesting. We have Taurus, Aquarius, Aquarius. Virgo and Pisces on the board. I'm going to leave it right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, stay beautiful.